Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, and welcome back to Tazewell County. This is Tazewell County episode number 13, and nothing unlucky about that at all. We're going to resume basically right where we more or less left off with episode number 12, and I have fixed uh, Billy Bob's uh, red wagon over there. Uh, well, actually, it was uh, it's a green wagon. It's a green John Deere tractor. I have fixed that. He is up and running again back over there uh, seeding. Uh, he is back over there seeding um, soybeans over in the big field over uh, just to uh, that direction over on the other side of the pig farm, I suppose. Anyway, he is doing that, and we're just going to top up our fuel here in our tractor here momentarily, and I think that will basically be enough there. So you might remember in the previous episode, we basically mowed our grass meadow, our grass field, that we sort of are sharing that field with uh, uh, wheat. And so we've mowed that, and so now we basically need to head over and drop the mowers and grab the uh we're gonna grab uh what are we gonna grab we need to actually grab the tether don't we and we need to ted that uh and make um basically make hay out of that uh, out of that grass so uh i might have mentioned that well i would do that off camera but quite honestly uh i sort of figure that um, might as well just do that uh here on camera and make an episode out of this and make probably make a couple of episodes out of the entire process that we are sort of uh, undergoing as far as our uh, hay operations and everything goes. And I think what we'll do is we'll TED with this smaller John Deere tractor over here. We don't use this tractor very much and might as well go ahead and put it through its paces and, you know, keep it, uh, kind of keep it going uh, here on the farm. So we will just pull this uh, seed trailer over here and drop this kind of out of the way here although um, pretty much everything gets in the way once in a while here on the farm uh, that just is kind of the way that it is and I need to kind of remember where um, our probably going to be in here I think I put oops I think I put everything related to grass work and everything right over here and I think that that is the case we've got our rake we've got our tether We've got our baler in here, and we also have our forage wagon. So I think what we will do is uh, we will grab a hold of this guy here. Need to back up a little bit further, I suppose. That's good enough there for government work. All right, well, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day uh, wherever you may actually be, uh, whether it's morning or afternoon or evening or maybe even in the middle of the night. Uh, I have been up a little bit in the middle of the night myself the last couple of uh, days or so. Uh, just a lot on my mind with work and other things kind of going on in my life and I uh, haven't really been sleeping that well. Um, but I'm sure uh, all that will sort itself out in time. And um, uh, back from uh, back from my travels um, was out in Orlando the week uh, the week prior. Let's see. I think we can. Well, I don't know if we can really get around over there. I think there's a fence post that's in the way, and I do not want to ruin any of this fine wheat. Boy, that wheat crop is looking good here on our farm. We'll be looking forward to. Uh, getting the opportunity to start harvesting that. The wheat should come in uh, ahead of the corn and the soybeans. Uh, certainly hoping that is the case because we're going to have a lot to do and uh, probably a short time to get all of that done. And I know I say that quite a bit, but uh, it is more or less true. Um, anyway, Let's see, what else has been going on? So, uh, in the real world, today is the 13th of March. Uh, 13th of March in the real world. And uh, a lot going on at work, as I said. And just uh, that is just kind of the nature of the beast. Um, I was going to say it's kind of the nature of the beast this time of year. Although, I really don't think that it has anything to do with time of year. Um, it just is kind of the way it is. And um, try as try as I might, um, it just um, a lot of work stacks up, a lot of projects, and you know my role is um, 
my role is kind of complicated in a sense I've got a lot of different moving parts and everything that I am responsible for and so just getting everything done keeping all of my folks all happy and keeping them active and working and everything is uh, is often a full-time job in and of itself just like it is here on the farm and of course uh, Billy Bob and Jack are working hard for us down here on Tazewell County and uh, they're enjoying everything since they've moved here from Snetterton from Colorado and so really glad we were all here and quite enjoying this type of farm work and uh, hopefully if you are playing Tazewell County uh, you're also enjoying uh, the farm work and everything as well. This is a joy to play and very nice map. Uh, sort of reminds me of um, uh, sort of reminds me of of either Graceland or States uh, back in the farm sim 15 days and I think the reason why is because of the nice flat land um, you know the author of this map Flatlander 84 I suppose he has earned his name honestly since this is the uh, neck of the woods that he hails from uh, that's obviously his nickname that he goes by and uh, love the flatlands I, you know I like I like a little diversity with my farming with my virtual farming I like for you know things to be a little different from one map to the next I suppose that's one of the reasons why uh, historically I have always uh, tend to uh, play a British style map and an American style map or something at least kind of based on American style farming uh, kind of alternating those or playing those kind of at the same time and so I think that's kind of the reason why I do enjoy that uh, enjoy that diversity that flexibility is because they do offer you know kind of different things uh, different different strokes for different folks I suppose I like the opportunity to use some larger equipment and of course that's what we're having the opportunity to do here in Tazewell County of course we're using some large equipment over on Midtown as well and really having a, a ball over there uh, really enjoying the uh, sort of the reminiscing of the farm sim my early farm sim 15 days and of course I've already talked about this at pretty much ad nauseum about how I got started with the whole uh, farm sim franchise and everything with farm sim 15 and of course uh, Westbridge Hills was that map that I uh, played quite extensively for many 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 hours dozens if not maybe even over a hundred hours or so before I ever uh, even even looked at a mod really didn't even understand the whole concept of of mods with games because I, I came from the flight sim uh, kind of the flight sim world and and we sort of looked at at you know mods as kind of add-ons uh, I'd never really I had honestly had never really heard of a of a game mod or game modification uh, script or anything like that with with uh, with flight sim we had add-on aircraft and everything which I uh, you know is more or less the same thing but a lot of payware stuff over on uh, flight sim and it's kind of interesting because I was having a conversation with uh, a PCSG uh, member I had written a, a blog article just a, a, a day ago about um, sort of kind of getting my interest rekindled in American truck sim um, and just kind of talking about uh, making some comparisons with the um, with the uh, coast to coast map, and I might try to bring some coast to coast driving, ATS driving on the channel in uh, in small fashion. Perhaps we'll just kind of see how that goes, uh, and see if that's something that I kind of feel comfortable with doing. Um, you know, driving a truck at at 65 70 75 miles an hour okay I won't lie sometimes even faster than that um, the speed of which we're moving and the traffic and everything it's often hard for me to kind of concentrate and talk and think of things to say and tell you all uh, at that fast of pace it's a little different driving a tractor at you know maybe 10 11 12 uh, miles an hour or so it's a little bit more laid back a little bit easier uh, to kind of focus and concentrate on and everything but I may try to bring a video every now and again maybe on uh, ATS and maybe you know every once in a while on ETS too I, I know I've done that in the past and I've kind of 
stopped and started uh, kind of doing other types of videos on the channel and I always kind of always default back to farm sim as much as possible just because I do understand that this is kind of my bread and butter but I think you all also realize and understand that I am sort of um, you know I've got a diverse um, interest in different simulation based games and of course I do enjoy American Truck Sim, Euro Truck Simulator, I enjoy Flight Sim, etc. And, and really, I was going to bring you all Flight Sim on the channel, and, and I'll be honest and just tell you that, you know, because of the fact that um, most of those videos would be a little bit longer, and I know that there's probably ways that I could edit and, and maybe just do the, you know, departure, the takeoff, the uh, little bit of, of cruise, and then obviously... Uh, bring the channel or bring the video back for the landing and arrival and stuff like that but um, anyway we'll, we'll see how all that goes and right now I'm just kind of still so busy at work still busy with my projects and everything and my of course my my business Jerry Taylor Woodworks is also um, going uh, going quite well uh, I've got to say I've made a, a few recent sales and everything and of course um, nothing that um, you know, I certainly, uh, if anyone's interested in a pin, I will just tell you that, you know, my Etsy shop and everything is open, and I think the link is down below. If not, um, just uh, check with me, leave a comment or whatever, and I'll, I'll get you the link to that if that's something that you're interested in. But, you know, I, I really, um, the pace at which it's um, kind of going is perfect for me because I'm selling just enough to kind of make it interesting and, of course, kind of, you know, because as I might have said before, how many how many pins does one man actually need in his life? And um, that's probably only just a couple. So I enjoy making them. Uh, so obviously I need an outlet to, to kind of, you know, get rid of them, to sell them. Because obviously my wife is going to go crazy with the fact that I've got all these pins laying around. So you can... Uh, you can sort of help her by uh, going out and maybe taking a look and seeing if, there's, if there is something that, that uh, strikes your interest. You know, graduation is coming up um, just a few months away. I uh, can't believe it myself that uh, here we're almost going to be talking about summer. Uh, where, has, where has the time gone? You know, I suppose the old saying is um, uh, something about, um, you know, time flies when you're having fun. So uh, I suppose we're having fun, right? I mean, it's already mid-March, and um, you know, our first our first quarter is uh, is almost done. Our first quarter is almost in the books for the year, and uh, again, just very very quick how things have kind of progressed. But anyway, um, got some. Um, I think I might have had some things. Um, to share with you all a few episodes ago, a lot of news coming out about Farm Sim 19. Um, of course, we've all been, you know, sort of speculating and, and hoping that, you know, Farm Sim 19 is going to be something that um, that maybe we all believe and, and felt that Farm Sim 17 should have been. And um, I do, I did hear one piece of information that, you know, modded maps and modded equipment and everything that are would be ported over from Farm Sim, uh, say 17 to 19, uh, may not may not be as easy for that to occur, uh, and they certainly may not look as good, um, simply because of the changes and everything that Giants uh, is putting into, or maybe I should say allegedly putting into the um, the the graphics engine and everything behind Farm Sim 19. So, um, you know, again, we're so we're so early early days here with all of this that I think we do need to perhaps brace ourselves we do need to perhaps um, expect that maybe just maybe um, you know there won't be as many mods coming available for farm sim 19 in the very early days as what we experienced in farm sim 17 and of course we've we had all these conversations in the time leading up to the the debut of Farm Sim 17, sort of speculating on, well, how long will it be before this mod makes it in to the game and that mod and, and so on and so forth. And I've got to say that, you know, one of, possibly one of the, the mods that I was most um, 
most anxious to see in co that come out of Farm Sim 15 into 17 was like mods like the GPS mod because you know it's kind of I kind of struggle with you know plowing in a straight line and stuff like that and of course course play and uh, some of the other things but I don't know I mean we may just we and of course those things are more functional they're more script based so um, from a visual perspective it doesn't really matter course play doesn't need to look pretty uh, we're not worried about uh, the the um, uh, the images and all that kind of stuff that we see with the equipment like we're looking at here with this John Deere and with this uh, with this tether which by the way this is a good place for me to kind of stop talking for a moment and grab us our screenshot because we've got to do that if I forget to do that then I am just uh, pulling my hair out there because anyway um, so I don't know I mean what what we will expect to see and when we will expect to see it I think we need to be patient um, and quite honestly, um, even though I didn't necessarily plan it this way, uh, I've got to say that, you know, at one particular point in time, I was planning on doing the new uh, Platinum map that came out with part of the uh, Platinum, um, Farm Sim 17 Platinum uh, package, uh, if you will, uh, the, the South American map. And I may, I was planning on doing it and then, you know, just sort of lost interest in it because... Uh, uh, I had the opportunity to play this map in Midtown USA and so on and so forth. But um, that may have worked out for the best because, you know, we may need to kind of depend on our default maps uh, for a little while with Farm Sim 19 until uh, until some of, uh, either until new maps or are made for Farm Sim 19 or until some of our favorites are ported over. And speaking of uh, favorites that, you know, I would certainly entertain playing again in Farm Sim 19 and I uh, sort of had that conversation with uh, my friend Chris, who is a longtime viewer of the channel, and that would be uh, the lovely Lawfolds uh, would be a map that I would perhaps consider playing. I don't know if I would play it for uh, video purposes for the channel, for the purposes of the channel, but I would definitely uh, consider playing it sort of private or off camera or whatever. Uh, so anyway, I uh, hope, again, I think, uh, I think I've already said this, but I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and I hope uh, everything is going well and smooth for you all. I hope that you're enjoying uh, whatever amount of time that you get to play on your virtual farms and everything. And of course today, uh, Pure Farming 18 or Pure Farming 2018 came out today. Also, the Ropa DLC for Farm Sim 17 also came out today. Um, so lots, uh, lots of good stuff that's coming out. And of course, we've got uh, Farmer's Dynasty. That has finally, by the way, come out of its legal uh, hold problems or whatever you want to kind of call that with uh, with Steam. I guess all of that sort of got rectified and. Uh, they were able to prove that they did nothing wrong and and so on and so forth and so I have been playing a little bit of that game offline now pure farm now with regards to pure farming 2018 or pure farming 18 I'm not sure I can't remember what it's called now I do have to thank my good friend my good buddy uh, my partner in crime Eustace Farmer uh, for gifting me uh, that wonderful game title. Now I have yet to fire it up. It's already installed on the hard drive. Steam obviously took care of that uh, for me. And so I am very appreciative uh, to him for, for that. And I will be spending some time with it. I do not know if I will bring any of that content to the channel. I will tell you that I am, and I've, of course I'm prepared uh, for this fact. Uh, I, I found out today uh, through Doug Zorley, who has already been playing uh, Pure Farming 2018 and publishing videos. He published his first video today, so quite honestly, uh, quite possibly, by the time you get around to watching this video, um, Doug Zorley would have probably already had a few more videos published of Pure Farming 2018 on his channel, so definitely go over there and check that out and show him a little love and tell him that Grizzly Bear Sim sent you over there. But um, I do know that it's not going to work with the G27. Uh, evidently, um, Pure Farming, the folks at Pure Farming did, um, were able to basically build in 
uh, for it to work with the G29, the Logitech G29, which is obviously the newer version of the G27. But I've got to say, I am a little disappointed. And of course, this is nothing uh, to do with Eustace Farmer or anyone as far as that goes, other than the game developers themselves. But I am a little disappointed in the fact that here we here we have another example another situation where a video game developer that is creating a simulation based game now true it's not in the title it's not you know that i don't think i haven't looked at the cover that closely but i don't think that they uh, have put um, the word simulation into their into their graphic screen but that's what we all uh, know that the game is about i mean obviously farming simulator they've They've coined the name, so you know they own that, obviously. And of course, they do a very good job of of, um, of supporting steering uh, steering wheels and pedals and other types of controllers, button boxes, and all that kind of stuff. They, they do a good job with that. But we have another situation where we have a game developer that has written a game that's basically come out and and they um, more or less refuse to recognize the fact that you have a large subset of uh, gamers like myself um, and as far as myself is concerned i will also say that this more or less uh, eustace farmer has very much the same opinion that i do uh, duck zorley uses um, external controls i think he's got a g27 as well farmer klein uh, many of us uh, that that enjoy putting out content on youtube enjoy playing these types of games with uh, with external hardware with third-party controllers and I believe that a lot of you do as well. Now I know that there are some people that still, you know, do keyboard and mouse, and I'm not going to take anything from you on that. Uh, I will just say that I pretty much ruined my left wrist um, several months ago, back in the maybe in the late summer time frame when Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 came out. I was crunching through the, you know, grinding through the grind and everything, getting through the grind, and pretty much uh, injured my left hand from constantly playing with the W, A, S, and D keys on the keyboard, and um, really hurt my my left wrist because of kind of how I had to position my wrist to do the controls and everything. And so um, I do know that uh, most have had good luck getting it to work with the Xbox controller. I think the only caveat there. Uh, with Pure Farming 18 is you've got to make sure that you disconnect your Logitech G27 because um, it will conflict and basically will cause the Xbox controller not to work very well and of course the G27 won't work either so I'm hopeful and again you know I don't mean to be selfish and this is not all about me but hey um, you know I consider myself to be um, the most important gamer for me anyways at least in my household that I hope that that is something that they can address relatively sooner uh, than later and that is add more uh, controller uh, support for other types of controllers and I'm not just talking about other brands and I know that there's a lot of other brands other than Logitech but I would have to say that you know the G27 is a controller that is pretty much still sought after even to this day and it's still I think somewhat considered to be a best of breed as far as the wheels and pedals and stuff like that I do know that um, you know if there are any brand new unopened Logitech G27's out there they hell for a very pretty penny um, and used ones um, do as well so uh, most people uh, even some of the bigger gamer guys and stuff um, I've, I've heard them talk about the fact that maybe they've upgraded to a little bit better designed wheel or pedal combination, but they still hold on to those G27s because if they work, um, they're, they obviously will be good backups, but they also have very high value and, um, well, you're not going to get mine. The only way you're going to get my G27 is to pry it out of my cold, dead hand. So um, there you go. But anyway, folks, we are coming up on about 25 minutes, and I don't know if we'll get all of this done because I really am kind of uh, run out of things to talk about, and I don't want to continue to uh, beat that, that horse over some of the things that I do often tend to 
to reflect on here on the channel. I do need to uh, maybe think about other things that I am going to talk about and everything. One of the things that I am going to share with you all um, in some upcoming videos is sort of my top, maybe my, my top five or top six. I don't know if I could do top ten because, well, I haven't really played that many maps in 17 when you when you uh, produce content for YouTube and it takes you know several months to kind of get through a series that doesn't leave a whole lot of room to burn through maps and everything really quick like we might do if we were sort of playing for our own private interests and everything but I kind of think that I'm gonna maybe put together kind of a best of and this will all be opinion based obviously because you know it'll be my opinion as to what I feel the best maps uh, for 17 um, that I've experienced uh, would be and the best mods and the best you know this that or the other so that might be something that I may talk about at uh, some given point in time and and the fact of the matter is is you know this is mid-march and uh, we'll go ahead and call it mid-march even though it's just the 13th um, you know the 15th will be here before you know it but it's mid-march so we still have uh, what probably about seven months before uh, Farm Sim 19 would come um, knocking on our door. And so that's still a whole lot of time to play uh, maps in Farm Sim 17. I mean, heck, there's still people that are actively playing Farm Sim 15 to this day. Of course, there's probably not a whole lot of development as far as mods and everything are concerned. Um, I, I could be wrong. I mean, this is just my, well, again, this is probably my opinion. But I'm kind of thinking that most everything that is getting um, that is getting coded and written and everything developed is all obviously based on Farm Sim 17 at the present time. I, I, I certainly have not heard of a brand new sort of net new map for Farm Sim 15 since 17 has come out. Maybe there were some stuff that was in the works uh, before 17 came out and those folks may have went ahead and worked on those maps and released them. Uh, sometime after that. If anyone knows um, if folks are still developing mods, creating mods, maps for Farm Sim 15, chime in with the comments and let me know. Uh, it's certainly I've not heard anything and of course pretty much everything that I'm watching on YouTube in my spare time are all uh, folks that are playing Farm Sim 17. So guys like Farmer Klein for example that do um, the excellent map reviews and stuff like that, you know, no one that is popping up in my timeline on a, on a regular basis I, do I see, you know, Farm Sim 15 maps. So uh, I would guess that that is just kind of the nature of the beast that, you know, once, um, once a version of Farm Sim, you know, 17, once that kind of, once 19 is out, then obviously uh, things are going to start to slow down. If you don't have Farm Sim 17, and I usually mention this every, you know, every month or so, I will sort of remind myself to say something about this. If you don't have Farm Sim 17, and if you're still playing and still loving Farm Sim 15, um, I do still have my mod spreadsheet from Farm Sim 15. It is still on my Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel. It is also where you would find the mod, uh, mod review or mod spreadsheet for Farm Sim 17, as well as ATS, ETS2, uh, Flight Sim, all the simulation-based games that I'm flying. I try to keep up with the with the mods and the add-ons that I'm using. But if you don't have Farm Sim 17, if you're still enjoying 15, um, and you are interested in maybe where you could get some reputable mods for Farm Sim 15. I can't guarantee that the mods or that the links and everything are current just simply because I honestly have not paid any attention to Farm Sim 15 since the day that 17 came out and quite honestly um, that is what I would be planning to do uh, come the fall of this year is that we will pretty much you know we should know I would say by September October time frame early October time frame we should know the exact date that Farm Sim 19 is expected to be released and I will just make sure that I have pretty much everything all buttoned up sealed up you know all the stories told all the lies told you know all that kind of stuff done uh, so that when 19 comes out I can basically you know, immediately install it and then just sort of start 
start playing 19 and it's a it's a day that quite honestly I'm looking forward to uh, I've got to say that you know with with the the ongoing issues with cattle and crops that that is still suffering from after a year of you know being released and then the farmers dynasty issues and the fact that pure farming was supposed to come out in 17 but didn't and so they changed the number to 18 and they brought it out today but they didn't you know, they sort of failed to recognize the fact that you know they're leaving out a large uh, portion of the customer base that has g27s those kind of things I am really excited for Farm Sim 19. I believe that Giants has a, they've got their recipe. Uh, it works very well. If they deliver on some of the things that we think are going to be in Farm Sim 19, then I believe to sort of quote a baseball analogy, which, you know, it's almost baseball season um, now, that I believe that they will have hit it out of the park and it will just be an extraordinary and awesome, uh, awesome thing uh, Farm Sim 19 will be. Now, again, as I said sort of at the uh, beginning of the show, uh, there may be some growing pains. There may be some, you know, some lack of mods and stuff for a little while. Hopefully seasons will be baked in uh, or at least, you know, the seasons mod, whatever that's going to be since... Um, um, portion of that team uh, is now employed by by uh, by Giants hopefully that will be baked in maybe some of these other things will also be uh, baked in maybe course play things like that we'll see time is still very very early on that and uh, we'll see what all that means when when it gets there but there could be some growing pains there could be some things that we all kind of have to be a little bit patient we all have to kind of understand and appreciate that you know it takes time to uh, bring some of these things to fruition so anyway what are we going to be doing next when we come back together um, I think that um, I may go ahead and rake this off camera I may just do that right now um, and then I will rake this off camera and perhaps when we come back together we'll be ready to do some baling uh, we'll be baling um, both uh, hay um, in hay bells as well as I think we may try to do some uh, hay pellets here you know we put in the silo um, at the sort of at the beginning of the series for the hay pellets just to kind of have those um, you know I bought the straw mod and quite honestly haven't done a whole lot with it so might as well use it because if you don't use it then you're going to lose it um, because you know hey I don't know if the straw mod will be available uh, for farm sim 19 it's certainly most likely this version will not work on 19 and so uh, obviously with it being kind of a third party uh, development um, title I would not expect that it would be built into 19 I mean that is sort of that is sort of the guarantee or the good thing that you do get when you um, when you sort of deal with giants and their uh, DLC that they have released you know stuff that we bought in 15 was kind of made part of the 17 kit um, very much so I think that the things that we have purchased um, whether it be the Big Bud, uh, the Ropa, some of the other stuff, those things I think hopefully will be a part of Farm Sim 19 kind of by default. Of course, uh, time will, I suppose, tell on that if that is actually the case or not, but uh, no guarantees because, you know, hey, I don't know for sure. I'm just kind of speculating based on, uh, well, based on, um, I guess, based on history. You know, history... History is something that I suppose um, is what we kind of have to look at and what we kind of have to uh, kind of go with because we don't, you know, we don't really know for sure. We know based on history that we would expect Farm Sim 19 to come out in the late fall time frame. Of course, Giants could always change their mind about that if they uh, if they so desired. But hopefully they won't. Hopefully we'll uh, have access to Farm Sim 19. Um, in that uh, late October time frame, like around the 20-something, 20, uh, 20 right before va um, Valentine's Day, right before Halloween is the holiday that I'm looking for. 
All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go out and I'm going to rake this uh, this hay and everything up into nice, neat swaths, or hopefully it'll be nice and neat. And that way, when we come back together for episode number 14 here on Tazewell County, we'll be able to do some regular uh, hay bells, uh, because obviously we will need those um, going forward, and also do some uh, hay uh, hay pellets, hay pellets. So um, we're going to need to cut that field probably one more time before the year is over, um, but that shouldn't be a problem because we will need silage. Uh, we'll need to stock stock up our silage for the winter, and of course we could have done that today. I could have left a portion of that as grass, uh, basically not tethered it, and been able to uh, pick the grass up. But we've got enough uh, uh, silage right now in our fermentation. Uh, silo that we're going to be okay with uh, with regards to that and so we're just going to go ahead and do the hay thing right now hay pellets hay bells and hey uh, we're out of time so thank you again for watching i do appreciate it thanks for telling all your friends thanks for your comments thanks for um, your likes and your subscriptions and all that good stuff um, by the way i am aware that Quite a few folks are kind of making the move uh, from YouTube over to Twitch. Don't worry, that is not in my plans at all. Um, I don't really right now. I don't have time to. Uh, I don't have time to live stream very much, if at all. And I certainly um, understand and I value the fact that the, for the majority of you guys, you enjoy the shorter videos and you enjoy finding those videos here on YouTube. So you will expect to see Grizzly Bear Sims content right here on YouTube um, for from at least for now until YouTube says they're tired of this whole Grizzly Bear Sims fellow and they, they lock me out of the studio. So until that happens, uh, I plan to continue to stay here and have fun here on YouTube. So anyway, thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it. Take good care of yourselves and also of each other and come back again for the next video. I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye now.